Hi there, I'm Jay from the Flutter community team. Hey, I'm Brian, nice to meet you, Brian Egan. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're still at DroidCon on, uh, in, uh, in Berlin. It's, uh, it's pretty good weather this time around. I'm, I'm, I'm glad it wasn't as, as hot as yesterday was. Uh, were oh. you here yesterday? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I live, uh, live here in Berlin. Oh. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately it was like a super hot day yesterday. Oh, yeah. And it was, uh, had to be outside a bit and moving around. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, felt that Sahara heat coming up. Exactly, so, yeah, like a blanket. Yeah. Exactly, it was just beautiful. It was just oh. beautiful. <laughs> Lovely. Like a sweaty blanket. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So uh, tell me a little about what you do. Uh, so yeah, I'm a freelance developer, indie developer, however you want to call it, and um, I do a lot of open source uh, work with the Flutter community uh, itself. And so um, yeah, so I kind of got into Flutter a couple of years ago, in like late 2016, and thought it was really interesting, and just started kind of playing around, and um, yeah, felt like there were some things missing, and so I just started playing around more with Flutter in that way, and then yeah, really got into it more and more. Uh, ended up kind of uh, releasing some of my packages or helping folks out, uh, and then yeah, I ended up speaking uh, about Flutter a bit more at conferences and stuff. And um, yeah, then eventually I started kind of doing some contract work on Flutter apps, and then also right now working with the Google team to help improve documentation. Oh, okay. Or, yeah, um, I think that kind of thing. Awesome. Right now. So, yeah, it's kind of my main thing right now. Okay. So. Yeah, so what I think a lot of people know you from is, uh, might be the Redux uh, work you've done in the Dart and uh, Flutter stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. If I'm correctly, the, uh, the Flutter Redux package was by you, and then the, the Redux package for Dart was by you and uh, Somebody yeah, else exactly. So uh, John Ryan, mm -hmm. um, I, I actually met him um, at DartConf originally in 2016. Uh, I went down there. It was in Munich, and I met him, and um, I, it was great. You know, like I had like used his package briefly and chatted with him that I had a few ideas for Redux, um, and he was totally uh, willing to accept those. So we ended up collaborating on that, and then uh, created some of the. Uh, widgets essentially for right. that. For the, so that's the Flutter Redux side of it. Okay. Um, and so yeah, there's sort of the two coin, sides of that coin, which is the Redux package itself, which is like a pure Dart package, and then the Flutter consumer widgets essentially. So right. yeah, yeah. So th through meeting him at Dart, uh, through meeting him at DartConf, you you kind of started working together on those packages. Is yeah, that... exactly. I submitted like one or two small issues or PRs, and then we kind of okay. started working a bit on it more. Um, yeah, just just uh, collaboratively as well. At that okay. Point. So yeah. Cool. So that's kind of like how I got my first foray into open source, and then, uh, but to be honest with you, uh, Redux is like actually kind of a small library. Mm -hmm. So to be honest with you, the most of my time I've spent on RX Dart. So RX Dart, really, I've spent uh, a significant amount of time on that library. Right, actually. right, right. So, yeah, which is yeah. quite popular as well, I believe. Yeah, I think that's. Um, I think it's more popular than Redux at this point, actually, uh, as yeah. well. Yeah, it's, it's, people move to. It's, it's, a, it's a race. It's a race. You yeah, know? sometimes yeah, scope yeah. models on top. Sometimes exactly. Uh, it's a yeah, state yeah. management <laughs> war. Exactly. Yeah. The well, whoever's winning the current the current state management. Yeah, war. exactly. Um, yeah, model. exactly. So I just try to get my my hands on all of those into all the, on those projects, and uh, we'll see what happens. But. Uh, no, overall it's great. So yeah, I, uh, RX and Redux and Scope Model, and I just sort of was playing around with different ways to try to build Flutter apps, uh, kind of coming from a web and Android background, and just trying to, trying to see what worked and what things I, I liked and maybe didn't like as much, and how you know, basically seeing how I could help the community out. It was sort of my my early goal. Okay. Um, overall, cool. Yeah, because I, th I think um, even when I was first talking to the Flutter team in 2016, 2017, they were still a little bit unsure about some of those things as well. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, so from a perspective of someone who has worked on multiple of these state management, uh, uh, basically architectures, yeah, so to yeah. speak, um, because you've you've also done the uh, the the I have to say correctly the Flutter templates. Uh, yeah, I call them like the Flutter architecture samples right. to do MVC for Flutter. I'm right. not sure what the best way to way to call it is. Yeah, right, yeah. right. But basically, just try to implement a to do app several different times with the different architectures. Right. Kind of like. Have a real more of a concrete way for me to compare and contrast them rather than the short of the shallow. Like I don't really like the way reducers work or yeah, you yeah. know things like that. You know. Um, or I prefer sorry, this I'm over not trying stream. to say like you're you're okay, it's shallow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, but like, but, like some, but sometimes yeah. but sometimes you know I, I'm just like a person who really wants to like get into the the implementation details and see okay what what impact does do these design decisions have and right. so yeah it helped me kind of think through those different. Right, so, because that yeah. was really cool. It was really helpful too to see all these uh, different approaches to the same problem. Um, from, from your perspective, though, like, um, how would somebody make a choice between all these different ways of doing uh, state management uh, within a Flutter to you? Like, what what are yeah. decisions that you, you would go through well, to say, like, oh, this me, would fit RX Dart or Redux or whatever? Yeah, yeah, completely. I mean, I think for me, it always. Um, you know, I get asked this question a lot, and, and my most important answer is like, it really depends on your use case. And so, like, 
talk to your team. What are your team's goals? Like, uh, you know, um, what kind of things are important? Like, uh, you know, are you going to have to do a lot of tracking, for example? Uh, you know, are you going to need to track every specific action that the user takes so that you can make business decisions on those, for example? Sometimes, like, if that's like a really important thing, that might be like easier to achieve in one architecture than another, for example. Like, I think Redux might be easier to achieve than that because you just have like this global middleware that can listen for all actions, and yep. if it's the right thing, it can it can send that data to yeah, the right sort of place. Yeah, sort of pipeline. Exactly, yeah. and so, or if you know, for example. Uh, you need to be able to, uh, I don't know, like sync data from multiple data sources, mm -hmm. and each of those data sources will be like live. Mm -hmm. That might be a better case for streams yeah. because you can take essentially live streams of data and combine them into yep. a collected object. Um, you know, if you just have some nice, um, maybe you just have a, a fairly simple counter app, or maybe counter app is way yeah. overdone. So, like, yep. let's talk about maybe something a little more like maybe you have like a weather app or something, yep. and you don't need like a lot of hardcore like data merging or anything like that, mm -hmm. and you want just something simple. Uh, you can start with something like change notifier and yeah. provider, or um, kind of formerly known as scoped model, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, that way, or if you kind of like that approach, but you're going to be a bigger app, MobX might be good. For me, it's really hard to recommend one. I, I think it's yeah. like the most frustrating answer I give everyone. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. always ask me for one. Um, Which one's the best? Yeah, there exactly. No exactly. Answer. Like, and like, I don't know. Like, I, I can't like rip my shirt off and be yeah, like, yeah. conquer the world with Redux. <laughs> you know, like, I can't. You know, I just um, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna. I can't it's hold. I can't hold Hogan out like that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I totally think um, you know it really is you know right tool for the job. But if yeah. you're just trying to get started. I would really consider, you know, starting with something like Change Notifier. Mm -hmm. It's baked into the Flutter framework. It's, you know, it's fairly straightforward to use. Um, you know, some people have some pros and cons about it, but overall, I think a lot of people have had a lot of success just getting started. You don't have a lot of stuff to understand. Yep. And once you understand Change Notifier, uh, the it's rest something comes. called Listenable, yep. and you have a lot of listenables in Flutter, of like scroll, notifi uh, scroll controllers yep. or animation controllers, those things. And so you're kind of learning something that you can reuse a lot within Flutter as well. And so, yeah, I, I almost always say start with Change Notifier plus Provider. Uh, to like pass those down um, and then go from there. Yeah. Yeah. So start with the basics, basically. Yeah, exactly. And you know, like it's hard. To, it depends on where you're coming from, too. If you're coming from like uh, kind of like me, coming from like a large Android project, and like you're really comfortable with RX, you know, maybe just mm. dive into Block if that's what yeah. you're used to. Or um, yeah. yeah, it's, it's interesting yeah. because so much of that has has been coming out, especially semi recently in the last year, right? So we've seen uh, Redux and, and of course the Flutter package that goes along with it. Uh, we've seen, uh, you know, RxDart, uh, everything that has to do with streams. There's Block, there's Provider, there's Get It. There's all these <laughs> yeah, sorts yeah. of. Um, have you have you come across many projects where multiple uh, of these state management techniques have combined? So, um, so for example, I, I've seen projects where people yeah. use Redux for everything that's reactive, but then, for example, use Get It for a singleton uh, for an API that yeah, won't change yeah. during the lifetime of a. For an I mean. Application. You could totally mix and match these however you want. I, I don't know if there is a need to mix and match as much. Uh, for example, like if you're using both Edit and Provider, I would maybe just personally find that a little yeah, weird because exactly. Provider has the ability to pass these things down the widget tree and then for uh, widgets down the line to access that data. Um, whereas with Get It, it's like rather than passing that stuff down the widget tree, it's sort of just like a global singleton yep. and you access objects from that global singleton. Um, so they sort of have like overlapping accomplish similar goals and so I you know I think if you have like multiple tools doing the same job it might be good to think about hey do we need both of these to do the same job um, but if you you know if you find like hey Redux is good for our, like our global state and block is good for our local state I mean you know I'd prob I probably wouldn't do it I'd probably make like a global block if you really needed <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that uh, but you know and then like so you only have one pattern and the reason I would consider doing that is just uh, I have a lot of sympathy for people onboarding uh, or joining projects and trying to reduce the amount that they have to learn, essentially. Yep. So, okay, now I've learned streams to RX, uh, so I can do the block pattern fine, and it's like, oh, well, what's this Redux stuff doing? And now, you know, you're trying to get this member on board, and now they sort of have to learn these two different paradigms. Um, and so, you know, just maybe for, for trying to keep it easier for beginners, I try to usually keep the amount of concepts in an app smaller if you can, you know. Although, to be fair, I've never worked on a large legacy app that hasn't had tons of different yeah. ways of doing the exact same thing, and exactly. it's just something you have to deal with. So I think my my sympathy is just like you know try to try to do your best for the for the newcomers by not adding too many different yeah, crazy yeah. things on top. Yeah. Keep it simple as much as you can. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. You mentioned that you were currently working uh, with uh, was it the Flutter team for documentation? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, how did that come up? 
Um, so yeah, basically in 20, early 2018, I gave a talk uh, called Keep It Simple State. Um, so that? Yeah, yeah, on, uh, at DartConf in LA. Mm -hmm. And just uh, happened to meet uh, Matt and some more of the people from the Flutter dev team. And yeah, it was really great. So like, I'd met Seth actually previously at the DartConf in Munich I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, uh, then I met uh, Matt and some more of the team at DartConf in 2018 in LA, and uh, they just had a few things they needed help with, specifically the cookbook. And so I started writing, uh, like most of the, I think the majority of the cookbook um, articles have been written by me, and then a couple of the other community members have contributed uh, some recipes as well. Awesome. And then just kind of gone from there, so yeah. Okay, and still doing that to this day? Yeah, so uh, I've been doing, you know, I kind of maintain the cookbook as well, but now I'm working on more like API docs and stuff like that at the okay. current time. Uh, yeah, and then also like um, help build like a little mini game for Google I.O., things like that, ah. so yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. And so any future plans from now on? Uh, any future plans? Um, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just enjoying my Flutter life at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, right just kind of, yeah, I'm just really enjoying freelancing here in Berlin. Um, and yeah, trying to do my best to support the packages I've got out there. I don't think I'm going to release any more packages. I think I've done, I've released too many at this there's, point. There's so, quite yeah. a lot out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so um, kind of, I think I'm, I'm going to just try to like do my best uh, to, to maintain those. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think you've done a terrific job. Oh, yeah, service. absolutely. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining me. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having and I'll me. Talk to you uh, thank you for watching. Uh, you can click around here for more stuff to see on the Flutter Community YouTube channel, and uh, we'll see you around. Thanks for joining. All right, yeah, absolutely.